Alongside head coach Jordan Bischel, I'm Jake Ritma, recapping the weekend that was in the Volunteer State as Northwood Baseball headed south for five games against Milligan and Carson Newman. Three and two on the weekend. Coach, your overall takeaways? Well, we learned a lot about our team. I mean, come from great facility in here, but it's not the same as being on a diamond and being outside. So number one, just getting out and playing is important. You learn what you do well, what you need to work at. And three and two, I guess, you know, coming away, not disappointed, but at the same time, probably not overly excited either. We, we played decent baseball. There's another level in there where we need to get to to get where we want to be. Offensively speaking, I think thought you guys really brought the bats, especially in the first uh, series against Milligan. I mean, you put up nine in that first game against Carson Newman. What was your overall takeaways for the offense having, to your point, not been outside, not on a baseball diamond for seeing live pitching for the first time? Yeah, generally speaking, we've come out well every year scoring some runs early in the season. We did that again the first few ball games. I, guys prepare well in here. They get locked in, and, and overall the offense functioned pretty well. A couple of situations the last two ball games where if we get one more big hit, the weekend really looks good in our favor. But a couple guys pressed a little bit, a few guys new to the program, trying to do just a little bit too much, and that's part of the part of the process they want to do well they want to have success they put a little pressure on it and gets a little harder but I you know, hear them hitting behind me here so they're getting ready for the next time out defensively speaking there were some high scoring games but uh, in terms of your pitching staff I thought newcomer Tyler Jander and Lily really looked good and earned a victory in his first collegiate start with Northwood yeah, overall, we, we pitched the ball well down there. We had a, a pretty rough two-inning hiccup, um, but we didn't play great defense behind those guys in that stretch. And Carson Newman probably will be the best offensive team we see this year, if not one of the two or three best that we see. So they're going to challenge our guys, and when they get on a roll, they're awfully tough to stop. But to hold them to two runs and five runs in game two and three of that series was really big. Tyler... He didn't really throw that well. That was what was impressive. I think he only got the leadoff guy out one time, but but got out of those innings, and then obviously to have Larry Wood come in behind him and shut the door for three innings was awfully important. Coach Jordan Bischel is our guest as we recap the weekend that was in Tennessee. And now kind of a odd place to be in. The season has started, but you're not in the regular routine by any means. A, a little bit more than a week off here before you go to Florida. And as Grant Bridgewater said, you're in the sunny and 60-degree turf building. What's the next couple of days look like for this Northwood baseball team before heading to Florida? Yeah, I think step one is rest the bodies a little bit. We went from not being on a diamond to being out there four days in a row, nine inning ball games, long days. Um, one of those games, three and a half hours long. That's that's an adjustment when you've been in here for two hour practices day after day. So they got to rest up a little bit, get back in the weight room a little bit, get prepared there. And then we got to just focus in. When you play, you learn something about yourself. And there's things that we now need to work on over the next week to be a little better when we get out there. Just maybe we'll get outside a little bit, which pretty unheard of here in, in February in Michigan but the weather's so nice maybe we can break it up a little bit and get outside a day or two yeah that was the other thing the weather was so nice while you guys were gone I mean we we're just waiting for you guys to get back to be able to be outside but uh, one final thought to wrap things up you know you talk about uh, learning a little bit about your team and you're almost at a disadvantage where the teams down south get a much more of a sample size to learn about their teams both Milligan and Carson Newman had played several games before you guys took them on now you're at a point where you've learned a little bit about your team but in terms of the overall sample size how much more do you need to see from these guys before you're really locked in onto what this Northwood baseball team consists of? You know I don't think we'll know until the season's almost over as weird as that sounds. Um, big leagues they play 162 games for a reason it's it's a different sport that you play a lot so it's going to take some time we also have a lot of depth both on the mound and and with our hitters so it takes a while to kind of get your identity. Um, Florida will help that a lot. We have 13 games down there. That is a pretty big sample size. And so hopefully when we get back for conference play, we're a little more settled. But there's, there's going to be changes. What it looks like in Florida and what it looks like at the start of conference play is going to be different than the end. And, and that's exciting. Guys can compete for spots. But it's a team that wants to win. It's a team that's awfully competitive. It's a team that gets along really well, which we talked about a couple of weeks back. And that gives us a chance to fix the things we need to fix and get better. Coach Bischel, as always, appreciate the time. Northwood will be in action on March 2nd in Florida, in Auburndale, Florida, against Wheeling Jesuit. For all the Northwood baseball action, be sure to follow along on GoNorthwood.com.